And then we have the explanation. Okay, we got the explanation here, okay? From his fullness, we have all received grace upon grace. <laughs> so, so look at this. Look at this. So this is the source. This is the object. This is the action. Okay. So, so look at this here. We have two graces here. Okay. We have two graces here and, and everyone connects these two. Okay. So we have uh, grace one, the law, and we have grace two. We have, so we have two here. Okay. But notice here, look here. Okay. So you can see dissimilarity. So there's dissimilarity. This is going to get to um, those of you who are struggling with covenant theology and dispensational and new covenant, th this thing is big here, okay? You know, uh, maybe I'll get all converts, okay? Maybe you won't be convinced, but so notice here. So there's grace upon grace, or some some translations will have grace, uh, will have grace for grace, grace in place of grace. But there's so there's similarities and dissimilarities. So there's similarities and dissimilarities. Okay. So look here. So number one, two graces here. Okay. At least two graces. The law, law is grace. Okay. Very fair. Okay. Jesus Christ is bringing grace and truth. Okay. So there is a there is a contrast here for sure. There's a, there's, there is a contrast going, going on here. Okay. Now look at this. We have all received. So the, we is clearly at this point referring to, I would say at least church, especially picking up with the all church apostles, and then considering the law, this has to be also include Israel and gentiles okay and this is of course the, the condition is all the, the condition is all on faith does everyone see how the, the we has to be all of it because it's including the law it's including grace and truth that jesus is bringing right everyone sees this we're all we're all here okay you got it everyone's everyone's good so far okay so the law is given through Moses. So Moses is the, the mediator and Jesus is also a mediator. So if we recognize the mediation, it's there. So explicitly, this is agent. Okay. Agent, agency, agent. All right. So, so clearly here, Moses is the mediator of the old Testament, old covenant. Moses is the mediator. Okay. I think everyone has to agree with that. Okay. And then, but if we recognize that Jesus is doing mediation here, then we have to see new covenant, right? Present. Uh, the, the, the implication is the presence of the new covenant. Okay. But notice this here. <laughs> we can suffer. So there's, there's clearly dissimilarity between the two, right? The, the law was given, grace and truth came, okay? And grace and truth must be uh, eternal, right? Grace and truth is eternal, right? Everyone's tracking so far. Is everyone tracking? Everyone's seeing this picture being built, okay? So we're building theology, and I hope and see that you see this as clear. So, so, so we're getting there, okay? So there's dissimilarity. There's dissimilarity between these two, okay? But you can't say radical dissimilarity because they're defined fundamentally as grace, <laughs> right? You can't, and more importantly, grace and truth is eternal. You couldn't sit there and say grace just shows up when Christ comes, right? You can't say that, especially since we've all received, <laughs> So there must be something going on that's bigger, that's similar and dissimilar. And so that's why we talk about, and this is not the only place, and you'd have to look at other places, but you can see this clearly. You can see that there's a greater theme going on 
the covenant of grace. So we'll talk about two administrations. Moses, Christ. But Christ doesn't just show up on the scene as if it's just there. We've already seen how many times the promise of Abraham is fulfilled in Christ. The promise of David is fulfilled in Christ. The law is fulfilled in Christ, right? He, he becomes a curse for us. The promise of Eve is in Christ. And so there must be this broader idea of continuity. Because look here, everyone is receiving grace. And grace is only coming through Christ. Does everyone see that? So there is this similarity, old covenant, new covenant, but it's all one. It's all one. To look at this and see radical discontinuity is terrible. We need to see this in promise fulfillment categories. Type anti-type, we're just saying climax, climax, type climax categories. And look at this here. The law was given through Moses, right? So, so looking here, the source of all of these things, look at this here. The ultimate actor is God the Father. God through Moses gives the law. God through Christ gives grace and truth. And grace and truth is even there before the law. <laughs> one, one actor, one actor. The okay, grace okay. in place of grace means that salvation is with Moses as well. It's all the same. So, so think about this. So, so let's think about this. So, so one position will say, let's draw this out here, okay? So I love mathematical diagrams just because it's helpful. Okay, so we're thinking positive and negative, right? This is a, a graph. What many people will say, law, bad, grace, Christ, good. And I'm saying that is, that is, let me draw this down here as strong as I can. This is a, this is incorrect what it should be here. You ready for this? Let's draw this again. Negative, positive. Law, good. Christ, better. All in the realm of grace. Do you see that? Thank you. But because there is such, if so here's the thing. If you're just looking at these two things, you could maybe see, oh, this is positive and negative. There's that tendency. But when you look at the full picture, you can't have that. You have to remove this. It's all in relationship to what? Do you see what I'm saying? Is everyone tracking there with me? If we're just looking at, at these two relationships, yeah, there's a, there's a negative slope. <laughs> There's a negative, for those of you who know math, there's a negative slope there, right? Because you're just looking at these two as a contrast. But the big picture, the big picture is that it's all positive. It's all redemption. And then this fits perfectly. This, fit, this fits perfectly when you have a, a passage like Hebrews. Now the faith is the assurance of things hopeful, hope for the conviction of things seen. For by it, the people of old received their commendation. <laughs> they didn't receive their commendation by works. That, that would be this paradigm. They received it by faith. By faith, we understand the universe was created by the word of God. By faith, Abel offered a more acceptable offering than Cain. Faith is there from the beginning, my brothers. And as soon as we're talking about faith, as soon as we're talking about faith, we're talking about Christ. <laughs> and we're talking about Christ. We're talking about the covenant of grace. The system by which God saves all people of all generations of all time. 
So from a historic redemptive perspective, absolutely. There's there's a, Bob, because there was, there was more revelation given. So Abraham did not understand all of the, the intricacies of redemption, right? So even Jesus will say that John the Baptist is greater than everyone else, all the other prophets, but the least in the kingdom is greater than he. So there is this movement in redemptive and rev revelation history, okay? But we can't say it's a different kind. We're not speaking of quality, but quantity. You see, the substance is there. Just like, so the, the big analogy is just like the flower, the flower seed and the flower, right? The seed contains fundamentally everything that the flower will become, but we don't yet see it. So I think this is just the best illustration to describe grace upon grace. I just, one of the, one, a very good one, a very good one. Excellent question.